What's the hell is this Asher Optic Midnight? And today we are back with another episode of Power Down. I forget what number. I think it's 39. 39. Okay. Are you I sure? Think. No, it's 40. No, that's too high. It's 40. Is it? No. I don't know. I, I deleted everything off my desktop, so I don't know. Wow, professional. It's 39. The last audio file I have saved to my computer is 38, so it's 39. Nailed it! Nailed it! I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing today? How you feeling? You feeling fucking pepped up? I'm tired, but other than that, I'm good. I have two. I destroyed my sleep schedule, and now I have to yeah. have my... I just... I have to have my sleep schedule on, otherwise I'm off as a human okay. being. You got to... Got to do it. So, I'm tired, but I'm good. Good. Um, I'm actually recording back-to-back -to -back today. I just got done recording the Optic Podcast, and Damn. now I'm here... Here. Just a podcast where I was gonna I was gonna say fiend, but you fiend. were going right for yeah. that whore. And then I was okay. like, "Dang, if that's, monetized." You want to set that up for yourself? That's okay. All right. Sight, sight. Um, but yo, big. There's like so much happening in gaming right now. It feels like to me anyway. It Maybe is. it's just because it's that time of year. We're just, it is that time of year, but it's still like we're just good. ahead of E3, so mm -hmm. it feels like mm -hmm. extra. Dope, I guess you could say. Um, I don't want to talk about E3 too much because we really don't know like what the hell is going to go down no. yet. Um, no. But this this podcast, I definitely want to talk about the Fortnite thing, the hundred million dollars that they're putting million. up in one. Like they literally just big deed every other esport as far as literally. prize pool goes. It's, yeah, it was like 2017. The entire prize pool list for the other 16 top. Esports just went slightly over two hundred. That's uh, right, a hundred thousand, a hundred million. Yeah, like combined, combined. They took all of the top esports, combined their prize pool, and was like, "Yep." And the thing is, yep. too, is like they're making so much goddamn money that like they can do that. Like they, yeah. There's no other company I don't think that's that's positioned in that way. Probably not. It's insane. So <clears throat> I'm freaking. I mean, I saw so many people like, yeah. I better start playing now, or I bet yeah, you know like, I'm good. Like, dude, I feel I'm like I'm not getting any of that. I'm not getting any of that. I know uh, myself. I know who I am. Yeah, exactly. I kind of like, dude. I like Fortnite, but I, I fell out of it a little bit. I was obsessed with it for like a month, and now I'm like mm. pretty over it. What are you at? Where are you at Fortnite? I go like back and forth. Like, it, like there's like a couple days. I think it's because I had never done any of the challenges, and then one day I did all the challenges, and it was so much fun. Oh, and yeah, that was like the first day that it felt like classic H1. Yeah. And then once I finished the challenges, I was like, oh. Oh. I, there should just be always hundreds and thousands of challenges. I'm joking. Like, that would be ridiculous. But I like the challenges. I think it's yeah, important too. for the game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I can't even do those anymore. I'm just like, eh, I'm over it. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just because it wasn't growing my stream. And it wasn't, like, that, like, in order to stream H1, or uh, H1, I'm thinking about H1 because I'm going to play it later on uh, PS4 if it works. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, like, in order to stream Fortnite, you have to be good, I think. That's how you grow. Yeah. And no, even it's then, it's not even guaranteed. Because, like, the, the top Fortnite streamers are, like, a, a huge percentage of the viewer base. And so, it's like, true, yeah. it's just a really hard game to grow your Twitch with uh, unless you're yeah. really good. And I know people, like like Rachel, for example, she's looks she's like so she's good. like doubled her viewership basically and she's just a monster and it's because mm -hmm. if you get good you can collab and if you can collab you're spreading yourself you're like yeah. it's 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 great it's great for people that that works for but it just doesn't work for me like i'm just not into it like yeah. that so and then uh, on the youtube side of things you just have to clickbait the fuck out the videos and i just don't want to do that either yeah to me it's just like if you were already in making the fortnite content on youtube you're good but like if you're not already in it's just like I think people are getting annoyed of it. Like, I don't think it's dying oh, yeah. off. But, like, the people that aren't into it are annoyed of it. Yeah. So. And, like, the clickbait yeah. channel. It's kind of like when the GTA wave happened. Like, the GTA yeah. 5 clickbait wave happened. Mm -hmm. Like, it was the same thing then. So, I don't know. It's not my thing. Uh, but I do enjoy watching it. I really enjoyed mm -hmm. watching Ninja. Did you watch Ninja play in that tournament last Friday? Did not. Bro, it was one of the most insane things ever that I've ever seen, like, in a competitive setting. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you know the situation, but it's basically, mm. like, 2v2, but you're all yeah. in the same squad, and you have to get more kills than the other people, and there's two games to do it. 
Mm-hmm. Ninja died in the first game, like pretty much right away. The King Richard guy got like four kills or something like that. So it, they were down right. by like 11 going into map two. They're about to lose. King Richard dies pretty much immediately in, in game two. And Ninja yeah. proceeded to get like Proceed. 23 kills. It was the, one of the craziest things I've ever watched on Twitch ever. That's awesome. Crazier than when he played with Drake, in my opinion. So. I don't know. And I looked at, he uploaded it. It already has 7 million views on That's not YouTube. surprising. That's what I mean. Like, when you're already in, when you're already in, you're going. You're good. Oh, you're, you're solid. going, bro. You're yeah. good. So, yeah, I think uh, as far as, like, going back to the competitive Fortnite thing, though, $100 million. Really? I'm just wondering, like, what the structure will be. They didn't allude to any structure. I don't know if it's going to be yeah. squads. I personally will not be interested in watching mm-hmm. if it's squads. Zero interest in Should squads. Should be duos Those or are- solos. I'm down with that. Um, I think that's honestly for it to be solos and have as many people competing as there are available, that much of a prize pool would kind of make sense to keep the like incentive high. Yeah. Do you so. think they're going to like break it down by platform? Because you got three huge platforms it's games on PC, Xbox, and PS4. Do you think that they could like split up? I don't know. Maybe they'll just shove everybody consoles? together. If you, they might just shove everybody together. Why? Because it's cross platform? Yeah. It's already cross platform. Just do it. If you want to take the. Like if you wanna, if you wanna be on, be at a know. disadvantage. You could use a PS4, I guess. You could Nick Merckx it, you know. Dude, actually, yeah, I I talk a lot of shit about PS4 players, but Nick Merckx won that first tournament on a PS4, mm-hmm. and as far as I know, that's what happened. And yeah. I think that's insane, and it changed the way I look at PS4 players. Like, yeah, I, I don't understand annoying. how he could possibly win a build battle versus a PS PS or yeah. PC player though. It's like. Like how there, you me, literally can't build that fast on PlayStation. That's the thing. The building is the only thing I have an issue with for it being like tough to do. But controllers like literally are can't do it. Yeah. But the shooting I think would be easier. For me at least. I think I would have a I think I would be a lot better at shooting people with a controller. And I know that doesn't make any sense because technically keyboard and mouse is always more accurate, but I'm just yeah. I feel like I'm just used to a controller. Yeah, it just but depends on what you're used to. I mean, I yeah. think like if you're looking like at like ease i think it is easier to shoot somebody on pc because you could just be more precise um yeah. but with controller you can't i don't know I'm, I'm interested to see how it's gonna all unfold it seems like epic is just crushing it man and oh, i just hope are. like i hope oh, these man. other like companies like activision or whoever like ea i hope they like really wake up smell mm-hmm. The Epic Games coffee, okay? Yes. Change 100%. your ways. Change your oh, ways. So I don't know. I'm uh, I'm excited to see what happens with it. I don't think I'm going to participate. I don't think most of the people I saw on Twitter are actually going to participate. If it, no, like, like you've already got to be. I think you've already got to be like really grinding. I think a lot Ooh. of that's why a lot of people have been. God dang it, man! Of course that would happen while I'm doing this. I'm sorry, guys, if you heard that. Um, hmm. You have three app updates for Creative Cloud. Like, come on, man. I'm recording my podcast. Jeez. How do you turn that off? Windows? Fine. But I don't know. I think uh, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm not particularly interested in competing, but I'm interested in just... Mm -hmm. I love watching Fortnite. I like watching Fortnite more than I like playing it. That's my thing. Maybe just because I'm bad. Or like I was talking about this, like... I just, it's not even that I'm bad because I know, like, I'm a good player at any game if I really dedicate the time and the effort and the energy. Yeah. But I just don't like Fortnite enough to do that. So I'm not saying, like, I would be a pro, but I'd be decent if I applied myself. My, my, I go back and forth. I have days where I'm, like, doing great, like, five kills out the gate and tilted. Yeah. And I have days where I literally can't get on the ground without getting, like, one, one shot. Like, I can't move without getting one shot. And I, like, I break it down by days. Like, like Mondays, for whatever reason, are my worst days. If I don't stream Fortnite before, like, oh, 5 yeah. p.m., it's all over for me. I don't know what it is. There's tired. just certain days that just seem to be worse. And that's not even tired. It's, like, what type of players get on it, what type of day. So, like, in on a Friday stream, I can solo drop into squads and take out, like, multiple squads right from the landing. But if I try doing that at night, that's when all the other streamers are on. That's when all, like, the kids are out of school. That's the when, try like, hamsters. The little dry hamsters are there. So I'm like, I can't do that. I can barely play solos, you know? So Yeah. I don't know. I think, I mean, it's cool. I just don't know if it's for me at this point, which kind of is upsetting because I need something to get me to God, BO4, man. I really do. 
Well, actually, let's play some duos sometime and just have fun with it. I'm just fucking some, down for that. Some some fuos. I think it is. I mean, maybe I experienced the game incorrectly. Like, I, I prefer to play duos, but I, and mm. I but I like solos because it makes me better when I play solos. Yeah. Um, no, I agree. But I like duos. It's all about who you play with, too. Too. I agree. If you're having a good time, don't matter which yeah, plane. Exactly. So I'm, I'm freaking down, Jedi. Let's Jedi Knight, some... fucking duo. Exactly, the Jedi Knight duo. I'm down with it. Um, but overall, like that, that was just a huge announcement. Hundred million dollars. That's so insane. Somebody said, like, what if they do it <clears> that it's like <throat> weekly tournaments and it all just gets paid out like the same amount, so there's no big tournament. And it's like, I feel like it would be smart for them to do a bunch of smaller ones leading into bigger ones. No, but yeah, but I think they have the, to do something big. I think the big one is still going to be significantly larger than other like events. Yeah. Even like with how big this game is, like you could literally do that ninja event that they did but mm -hmm. like times 50 like you could exactly. you could undoubtedly fill an arena for a four oh, yeah. event. so easy they depending could. on who you got so i don't know man the money's there i'm interested to see like what happens with it how it's broken down what game time like i th if it's squads i'll be disappointed please under squads Same. for the love of god i don't think they will because none of the other lead-ins to then to this have been squads like none of the other lead-in tournaments have had anything there's no to do like with squads. tournaments though from epic yet right yeah that's true but just the way that everybody else has done their tournaments and structured them it would be dumb of them to be like you know well, what, what you guys are doing i think it's because they can't like you can't get in a well can you wait can you get in a private match with squads maybe i'm wrong actually i, I think know. you can because i saw rachel do something like that i don't know i might have just made that up i don't know enough about it but it's squads insane, is not the way please god I, i've heard it yeah i've heard enough people the only people i see wanting it to be squads are people that are that got picked up the teams as a squad and it's like it's sorry. not a squad dude not, watch a game of h1 z1 watch PUBG. like it is not fun it's to not watch fun. squads camp it's, and loot it's, till the end and then hide until the end it's not to fun to focus on it's also too much to focus on it's yeah. way too fucking much remember to watching on. that h1z1 event that was trash that was like the worst that was the beginning of the end of h1z1 it was before was, that but i agree that was like yeah that was when it was like that was like the the straw yeah that, that was the like the oh, it was yeah, like com what competitive premise isn't actually going anywhere shit <laughs> If I was an H of Z1 player, I would be so quickly gone. It, it like. is now getting to the point that I no longer feel bad for the H1 players that end up getting that ended up getting dropped because orgs decided that they were going to step out of H1. I and I feel worse for the ones that are still there because a bunch of the ones that didn't drop eight, like that got dropped from H1 teams got picked up to like phase or just all these bigger orgs because yeah. they just they're just good at BR games. That's yeah. what they're good at. So I, no, I don't I think feel they're bad for like anymore. I don't feel bad because there's plenty of opportunity in the BR yeah. space for you still. Yeah. So you're you're gonna be all right. But just, I'm just saying don't pick the wrong game. I mean, you never know. You really never know. I didn't think Fortnite would be a big deal. I really mm -hmm. didn't. And look at me now. I'm like, wow, it's fucking huge. But I guess at the time when I thought it wasn't a big deal, I also didn't realize how like cross platform it is you can play like yeah. it's so many advantages anyway i don't want to talk about fortnite too much because i know people no. hate that but <laughs> psh, hundred million dollars it's a lot speaking of a lot of dollars mm -hmm. activision <clears throat> yep came out with a black ops 4 reveal yep yep you didn't even watch the whole reveal, Jedi, so I don't know how we're going to talk about what? this. What? Are you kidding me? I watched, watched like, the, multiplayer I watched the part. entire multiplayer part, and then... Um, zombies came up, and you were like, peace. Well, yeah, zombies came up, and I was like, I have to start my stream, otherwise I'm not going to have time to like even do an hour before I have to leave. True. So I, I started my stream, and then people were just updating me in my chat, and then I watched for the BR. Like, I watched while I was streaming for the yeah. BR. The um there was other I think there was other multiplayer details after the zombies part but not too much um nothing too crazy yeah I'm freaking hyped bro I maybe Same. it's just because every year I get caught hyped around this time and it's yeah. like it's like I just hope that it's like I want it to be good mm -hmm. so I'm already in that predisposed like okay well this looks cool <laughs> this could work yeah. but I actually feel that this year more than ever because Treyarch. They've never, like, truly let me down since no. World of War. World of War was a huge letdown for me. Yeah. But Black Ops 1, a... 2, yeah. 3, and now Those four. are the ones. Yeah. 
See, my, my thing, I love Treyarch. I liked BO3 a lot, but BO2 was fantastic, and this game looks a bit too much like BO3 for me to get, like, super, 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 super excited. I totally understand the logic of where they went. I understand the progression of time. And timeline-wise, it actually fits exactly where I assumed it was going to be. Like, I assumed it was going to be in between BO2 and BO3. That's what I figured. Because I didn't think they were going to go further ahead from BO3, and I didn't think they were going to go back before BO2. So I was like, this makes sense. I'm wondering... Well, I don't even think there's been, like, a timeline established. Because it's almost like these specialists look like... They're the tamed down versions of the ones from BO3. It's like the prototype versions. You think so? Like this is the early version of them? Yeah, because like totally what it comes across. To apparently, me. this is the big thing that, that everyone's talking about, or not everyone, mm. but like a lot of the hardcore people that follow Call of Duty. Apparently, the game was originally going to have jetpacks. Like you can tell that in the map design. And then mm. they were like, maybe like let's not though. And. And I think that that is better. I think, like, like I tweeted out, I don't know For if you sure. saw the day of the reveal, I tweeted out, like, I hope that they take Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 and put them together and then add a little sugar spice and everything nice. And I think, like, they did that. Like, it yeah. does look a lot like Black Ops 3, but the right. actual gameplay mechanics, I haven't played it, so I can't say if they're good yeah. or not or if it's different enough or not, but it looks like... They've at least added enough to make it a different, a little bit of a different experience. Like healing yeah. yourself adds an element that I think I will like. I don't know about the body armor thing, but um, yeah, I'm not sure about the fact that they seem to be pushing the specialists as an integral role, as in you have to pick strategically what your specialist is, like you yeah. would have to do in like an Overwatch or a League or, or a like seed. the competitive Black Ops three. Like yeah, you used to have specialist not... draft. Yeah, and I get that, but this, like, when people play Call of Duty, they do not play Call of Duty because they are trying to team up with the people that they're playing with online. I Even TDM. I see TDM as grouped free-for-all. Right. You know? Same. Like, I think, like, that is good for competitive mm. modes, and I don't know yes. if they did it for the reveal, just for the reveal, so that they got some different specialists out there a gameplay mm. of them i don't know if it would be a competitive only thing i don't know if it would be some playlist i don't know if it would be every playlist there's still a lot we don't know yeah. but like it would <laughs> make sense for them to do that though because like we're talking about like I, a lot of these other games have that already and mm -hmm. i think like call of duty it's old formula is a losing formula like you can't push out like like a little sequel, like like Modern Warfare Three, for example. Yeah, it was a unique game, and it was a decent game, and it had some great things about it. But like, it didn't really change much. But yeah. if they got away with it because of the time that it was out, especially looking mm -hmm. at the other FPS games that were out around it. Yeah. Now sure. everything has changed. The whole landscape has changed, and they can't just keep re-releasing that okay here's our game here's a couple new things okay here's the season pass all right mm. wait three months and then you get some dlc like that whole structure has to go they have I get to, it i feel like they had to yeah. add those little things to the gameplay yeah. um it is interesting. i just don't like the what it currently seems like forced teamwork yeah, I don't know if I'll like that, because I'm mainly like a solo that. player. Unless I'm playing competitive players, I am not teaming up with people Yeah, I don't want to deal with the type of, like... Like, yeah. I like Call of Duty because I can individually play it and do well and still talk to my chat or do whatever. Yes, and like, that's exactly why I love it. That's why I like Call of Duty, and that's why a lot of people like Call of Duty. They can individually come in and wreck shit and be awesome. And yeah. I think that's that's definitely, like, a good part of it. And I think, I don't know, but I'm hoping that at least, like, in free-for-all I could still do that. Or in, like, yeah, a TDM I could still play that. Like, like maybe it would only be restricted to certain playlists. Like, if you're going to play a competitive game mode, you obviously can't have four fire breaks on the same team. Yeah, no. Like, that one no, game can't. mode they were showing, Control or something like that, um, that makes sense to have, like, that special. But in a TDM... Like, why would I... Why? Yeah, why <laughs> would you restrict that? So, I don't know. We don't know yet, for sure. We just know what they showed. Yeah. It, it makes just, sense. The way he worded it at the beginning, he said, you'll have to work together in a way you've never had to before, or something like that. And, like, the second he said that, I was like, no, I don't want to work with little Timmy. Like, I can't depend on little Timmy to help I me cannot. the frick out. We can't depend Look, on it's him. It's 2018 and little Timmy doesn't still doesn't know that he needs to push B. Well, that's a thing too yeah. is like 
COD now with this healing stuff and a lot of the other mechanics that mm-hmm. they added, like that is not a uh, like good for random little Timmy to <laughs> say, "Oh, I want new COD," and then he gets on and it's wait, I have to heal myself. I'm not saying like young kids yeah. can't adapt, but it's no. clearly like they're trying to. Uh, to me, here's a direction. All the success that they had, what like eight eight to ten years ago. All of that, all those kids, remember, like, all being, like, younger and playing, like, Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops, like, remember mm-hmm. that? Like, remember how old you were then? Now they're grown up. Those yeah. those people are still interested in Call of Duty, or at least they were at one point. Yeah, exactly. Now you have, like, a mature Call of Duty, and maybe you get yeah. some of those people back, that hardcore fan base. because true. They can't just have the same... I just, I just really believe that something needed to change. I and agree. the whole forget what you know, like advertisement yeah. stuff, like it all just makes perfect sense. I don't know if it's yeah. different enough to actually be what I'm saying, but it kind of reminds me of Killzone. Like Killzone I'm 3 had this, it was very similar. Like you'd have like different people could be medics or just like specialized things, and that would give you access to like this round of weapons, and you could do this, and like some people could go invisible for a second or this and that. And like it just really, really, really reminds me of that. And I did actually have a ton of fun playing Killzone 3. And I never talked to anybody, so it seemed like it worked out fine. Yeah, I but... think you could make it work. Um, but I do, I don't know if the, why they're pushing the team thing so much if they want you to know. just get your friends to buy the game or get yeah. your friends on yeah, with you. Could be. Could um, be. But I do think it's important for them to do that at this stage. And also, like, the BR, as like we said last week, like, mm-hmm. having a BR mode in your game is going to become the new norm. Yeah. As much as... Oh, I'm happy about that. I see a lot of people complaining, like, BR needs to leave. It's killing everything. Like, I disagree so much. I think that it's, you have to, like, look at trends that yeah, happen. Yeah, it's, it's a genre. Like, you just go with it. It's not, it's like people complaining about superhero movies. It's like, well, if people didn't like them, they would stop going to them and they would stop making them. That's just how it effing works. It's just a trend. It doesn't mean that other games aren't going to continue being made. Like, at, like you complain about BRs, but we still got, like, Last of Us 2, Red Dead Redemption 2. That God of War game that just came out is one of the most amazing feats of video game technology that's ever been released. So it's not like it's completely destroying other game types. It's just it's, existing yeah, in it's, space. It's adding, I think. It's, it's only adding. adding. And I think, like, it's interesting just to see how BR is, like, come out. Like, it came as this, like early release little extra part of a game Mm -hmm. and now you have these big huge companies with these huge like like capitals that they can just say Mm -hmm. yup we're gonna do that too like especially like i was under the impression because of the leaks that maybe raven was doing the br mode um but it appears like vondi's doing it and like i don't know if you saw the reveal i'm uh, when they're throwing all the different stuff from across the different Black Ops timelines into it. Yeah, well, even just, like, Vondi at the end, like, getting all intense and screaming, like, this is Black Ops. Like, Mm -hmm. y'all don't, like, know Vondahar, I guess, but just to, like, I've I've been following him for a long time. We're, you know, kind of buddies. But, like, to see, like, him, like, I don't know, it it must be the craziest feeling to, like, do something and pour your heart and everything into it and then just be, like, here it is. Sup. Yeah. What you think? And that's why, like, I don't know. I just think it's really exciting. I feel like yeah. I trust Treyarch more than the other COD developers. And it's kind of, like, sad to say that, but it's just they have the track record, man. With Zombies, yeah. they've got a great track record. Mm-hmm. Their multiplayer has been insane the last few years that they've released. Their last few releases, I guess I should say. And I don't know. I'm just excited. I think, like... Obviously, I can't say if it's going to be good or if it's going to, like, save COD. Do you think it's going to save COD? I don't think that COD is as bad off as some people say it is. Yeah. That was, like, I asked, like, Hector, Jack, and Davis that same question today at the office. Mm -hmm. And they all pretty much said that, too. I don't think COD is dead. I think the community is. I think that its sales are fine, but, like, if you, like, a good bearing to see how well your your game's community is doing is look it up on YouTube and definitely look at the stream numbers on Twitch. Yeah, so in that sense, yeah, it's down. I remember BO3 used to be, like, top three, top five game all the time. Yeah. Every single day. And then IW came out, and it slowly started trickling down, and then World War II came out, and it just kind of, like, stagnated there. And maybe, honestly, with the blackout stuff, I think that this could reinvigorate people into watching it more. 
mm-hmm. to figure out what it's about and stuff. Yeah. You know, because games go through trends. So it's For just sure. it's weird that it's like the COD community all simultaneously became Fortnite players. And then before that, they all simultaneously became H1 players. It was just this thing. Everybody kind of like jumped. Yeah. And it's obviously been like the biggest one, but it's like the CS community will always still be the CS community that might dabble in other games, but it's like the COD community like jumped ship. Yeah. It, like know? every streamer that I know like doesn't mainly stream COD, maybe except for me. Now, I still stream a lot of COD because I still find it to be um, one. I honestly, I really do enjoy this one. Do you like um, World War II? I like World War II. I like I think it all right, too. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, and I, it's great that you can... Uh, but it's not great. No, it's not great. But it's still... It's better than IW, in my opinion. And uh, well, I, I, mean, still, no, I love it like, for street. Sad to say, but that's not that hard. To- it's not. But, like, I didn't hate IW. It's just nobody wanted to watch me play it. At least people want to watch me play World War II. So I'm like, okay, I'll play it. True. So. I don't think IW is that, like, bad of a game objectively. But... Just the timing that it came out was really bad. And I was just... It, it too, also, it really, really took way too much from Black Ops 3. Like, it's okay mm-hmm. for Treyarch to kind of, you know, re-dabble into Black Ops 3 with Black Ops 4. Because there's a three, their game. Well, it's their <laughs> game and there's a three-year difference. Yes. To go exactly. from Black Ops 3 to IW was fucking insane. And they did the specialist worse. Yeah. And there was worse streaks. Yeah, that's and what I worse mean. Equipment. Everything was like, worse. It's like if IW had come out before BO3, BO3 would have been like, okay, yeah, this was a pretty good jump up that's from an that, I guess. It's like, I even thought AW was worse, better than IW. I know that AW had a lot of issues that probably need to be polished, but I thought that IW was the mo- was like terrible from the gate, and then they kept trying to fix it in like the worst ways. Like yeah. they did it like, like... Diff- yeah, it's like the like the robot dog thing literally had different hit boxes than every other character did, just because it was thinner and like there's that like, there is was, like a so insane to me. I still can't yeah. believe that. Yeah, there's like a gentleman's agreement. Like, you can't use this character because it doesn't have the same... Yeah, its head is the size of, like, a tiny football. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's so stupid. So, like, just things like that just show, like, such a... Like, a disconnect, in my opinion. Yeah, from, like, like a competitive aspect of Call of Duty. I don't Mm -hmm. think IW competitive was that bad to watch, but it was only because there was so much action. See, my thing, I didn't like it. It was probably... But I was weird. I... The, I thought AW out of the Jetpack games for me was the most entertaining competitive game. I don't know why. Even compared it was really to BO3. Fast, maybe? Yeah. Something about it. And I, I, I honestly, the weirdest thing to say is I find that the sound of the guns is really satisfying. It's really? the weirdest thing. I don't like thing, it. Like the bow sounds like, brrr, like a little I farts. love it. I don't know what it is, but I something like about it. I just like it. It's very auditorily pleasing to me. And I know that doesn't, it doesn't mean much, but it was like, I like that. So. I, I like Black Ops 3 competitive. It's the best competitive we've had, I think, in the last four years. Um, that being said, it wasn't perfect either. So I'm excited mm. to see them, like, polish it up for Black Ops 4. Can't say if it's going to be good. Uh, I think it will help Call of Duty a lot. I'm hoping to cover it a lot on the channel and yeah. on my stream because I am not into Fortnite. So I'm kind of like, I'm just trying to survive until, like, a game that I'm really passionate about comes out. Because if I'm just really passionate about something, like, I can murder content on it. Like, I'm ready. I'm yeah. Ready. And I thought I was going to do that with World War II. I really did. But I my int- like I think I uploaded, like, multiple videos every day for a week on World War II before I lost interest. And then the community lost interest within a month. And then yeah. Fortnite exploded. Like, yeah, I think people don't really look at World War II. I, I think that they should look at World War II as a decent COD. And I'm not saying, like, Fortnite's the reason that people don't play it, but I think it's a huge no. part of it. I think you're, like, oh, ignorant absolutely. to ignore that. Yeah, no, totally. And we've gone through it so many times. Like, Fortnite just had that perfect, like, League of Legends formula where it's free to play, and they're just making bank off these add-ons. And everybody can play it because and it's the available. Add-ons are sick. Yeah, and it's like available across like multiple platforms, but the add-ons don't give you an advantage in game, which is like the only like which is great. Yeah, that's insane that they you know? never like did that. And I think like that's and I think just all the content that they add, like the limited time mm-hmm. modes. You see it now with World War Two. They they're doing that. They're adding these like interesting playlists. Like 
I'm not a fan of all the playlists, but they're at least they're doing stuff. Yeah, and I, I don't agree, know. Like yeah. every time I think of World War II, like you know, like the first like snapshot when you think of a Call of Duty. When I think of World War II, I think of that like cluttered, gross headquarters. Yeah, I thought headquarters was like the sickest idea I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. Until I realized it's just a bunch of people standing around like spamming supply drops like if you're only in yeah. there with your friends that's a great thing but since yeah. you're just cluttered in there with all these people you're trying to get to freaking howard to get your daily mm -hmm. shit yeah they, they fix that now so you don't, you don't have to do that you don't have to go into headquarters anymore there's just that tab no i know they have it tabbed now but like yeah but originally originally, originally i was in there with I'd be like, where the hell do i level up billy bob's blowing his vape <laughs> into the mic and i'm like jesus dude <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. God, what are, what are we doing? Yeah. I don't know. I'm interested to see how it's going to work. Uh, I'm, what, what, so, like, last week we kind of decided, or we didn't decide, but we talked about, like, our hype level for the new Call of Duty. Has your hype stayed the same? Are you pretty much like, okay, yeah, that reaffirmed my hype, let's go, or where are you at? Probably about the same. Probably about the same. Um, I've still, I feel like I'm a little bit more hesitant to get super hyped on it, though. But it's it's really just more the specialist things because I feel like for whatever I didn't like the specialist in the first place. I didn't either. I think that so they now look that really just, tamed out though. They are they are tamed, but it's just still I just don't like them. But what don't you like about it? Like little Timmy just can insta kill you. No, I just, something about it is just never. Some of it, yeah. Some of it was an, so annoying. Like if, when I think about the things that annoy me in Bo3, it's the raps. Which are the worst? Bro, I God love those. In free for all, I'm sure, but in any other game type, they're annoying. They're loud. They blow up. They are loud. They're terrifying. That's the whole point. Yeah, I like them. They're it's terrifying, annoying. bro. But it's annoying. Um, Girl, it's just because you don't little... get raps, Amanda. Once you get raps, you're like, this is the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, I just don't care. No, because I don't find it satisfying to kill people a lot with, like, streaks and stuff. Like, that doesn't satisfy me, so I wouldn't Ooh, even care. It's very satisfying to me. You know what I saw in the trailer? The motherfucking AC-130 from Modern yeah. Warfare 2. The first yeah. time it's been bet. Wait, no. Was there? No, there wasn't even an AC-130 in Modern Warfare 3. It was that dumb Reaper thing. Yeah, it was Reaper. Bro. Bro, you're so excited. Bro. Are you kidding me? I'm into that. I want to rain down on people. I really yeah. do. That's all I want to do. I, I want, want to, to do? just fuck up everything. <laughs> and like, <laughs> it seemed like, according to the people that played, like, the streaks were very strong. Um, I don't know if they need to be very strong, but they just need to be good. Like, really yeah. good. Yeah. Because that gives people incentive to, like, you like feeling like you're the dominant person in the lobby yes. or the dominant yes. team. I would agree. But it's got to be balanced. It's got to be balanced. It can't just be. Oh, yeah. Be... You got to be able to shoot it down. You got to be yeah. able to, like, I thought Black Ops 3 did a great job with that. Like, they had yeah, that for sure, for sure. whatever thing, core thing. <sighs> There's some hard-ass challenges. I'd 100 percent at all the challenges on Black Ops 2. There's some hard challenges in there, bro. You had to take out a power core, like... No, it, the challenge was, like, you had to kill a Wraith ship, not a Wraith ship, the Braps ship, yeah. uh, before it even got there. Which is, like, fucking impossible unless you have people helping you. So what I yeah. did is I got a power core, and I was on Nuketown, and I was just hoping that somebody would get Raps. Mm -hmm. And the second they did, I called my power core, boom. You're like, get up. Up. Yeah, it was one of my last yeah. challenges I had to do. It was so fucking hard. But I don't know, man. Like, I just hope that Black Ops War does that again. Like, it makes me want to do all the challenges. Like, I don't want to do any of the challenges in World War II. Like, they're all bl boring. Yeah. The game is no, just like, not... I don't know, man. I can't Like, I still it. do them, but it's more just, like, as something that I can keep in the back of my mind as I'm playing, you know? None of them are interesting, though. They're all just, like, simply you would do them if you kind of tried. I know, and I like that. <laughs> like, I want something I have to, like... I want a calling card that was so hard to get that they don't even know. You don't like if they I wear if I wear that, you don't even know what the hell I had to go through for that shit, bro. Because you don't have That's it. Fair. Ah! That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I get that. I get that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm not sure if it's gonna be good. I don't know anything about the BR if it's gonna be good, but I am interested. Yeah, to play it. That's... I can't wait. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to cover it. I feel like. <clears throat> I feel like this could be the Call of Duty where people stay interested longer than a month. Yeah. Unfortunately, people said that last year. But 
Nah, I don't think everyone ever said that people would... Well, maybe. That's fair. I mean, gameplay-wise, World War II is not that bad. But, like, mm. it's just everything else. I think it's the maps. I think it's the lack of good streaks. I think it's the lack of, like, real grind yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I'm not fair. interested in the weapons because they all look the same. Mm. You know? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my God. I swear if there is an influx of melee weapons in this game, I'm snapping the dip. I'm gonna, it's out the fucking Yeah, way. I feel like that, that was the one area that BO3 went so too fucking far in one direction. It was like every day there's some new stupid ass melee weapon that barely even needs to get near you to count as a connection, and then yeah. you're dead. One hit dead. The, the boxing you, gloves and shit. I never had Dude. too hard of a problem shooting them. I mean, sometimes no, like the sometimes movement like made it easier for them to get around. That's what I mean. They'd be like a foot away from me and they just swing. And I, I'm, I swear to God, if it was in real life, the bat would have gone here. But in the game, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm like, what? I mean, melee weapons are fucking hard to do well with. So maybe that's why. But like, I know they're not, I'm not, not in that game. No, that's what I mean. Like they made yeah. them easier so that when yeah. you do get them, you actually feel like you're doing something. I think like, I don't know. I don't like the melee stuff in God. I think they don't have that in World War II, do they? There's a baseball bat now. Yeah, like, a like, little bit. A couple, yeah, I'm down with that. But, yeah, there was way yeah, too fucking there was many. Too many. I think there was just... They did their uh, supply drop system all wrong in Black Ops 3. I hope they learned agree. from it. It seems like... I've never... I've still not got a single gun from a fucking supply drop. I had, but one. I spent a lot of money. Jesus. Not good. Yeah, I didn't, but still. I stopped. Come but on. I think I there was, like, a point in Black Ops 3 where I was like, that's a fuck enough. I'm not spending any more on supply drops. Yeah, you it. have to. It has to hit a point where you're like, this is ridiculous. Like, I made the decision to only support, like, systems that I like. So I really like the MWR system. I gave them mad money. <laughs> um, I yeah, don't have any interest. I have spent a little bit on World War II, but I just don't have any too much interest I don't in think it. I have. Um, but yeah, I feel like their supply drop system has to be good too. Like that's another thing about World War II that they fucked up on. The system is good, but the mm -hmm. loot is trash. Nobody wants those pistol grips. Nobody does. <laughs> like they Unless... look cool. And if I had, if it was in real life, and I had that in front of me, I'd be like, that's really cool. But in game, it's like, yeah, in I need more. I need more than that. I need more. If you're gonna have yeah. filler items, make them something else. I don't know what you're gonna make them, but make them something else. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. They add those little dongles on the gun and shit. I think I'm yeah, fine with that. Are, yeah, I've got, I'm like running around with a burger. I don't even like burgers, but it's rare, so I just run around with it. I have one that looks like Simba wearing a little spinner hat. Well, that's lovely. Yeah, love that's that. my little that's dongle. Cute. I'm down with the a... dongles. I'm not yeah, the down with the cool. pistol grips. Because how often do you have a pistol out and then look at it? Like, yeah, seriously. Like, what is this? CS? Apparently. No. I what didn't even this? see. There's no inspect in the current version of Black Ops Four. No inspect. Hmm. I want inspect, Wonderhar. I want to look at my things. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited oh, I'm sure for. I'm, I'm excited for all of it. I feel like we've been talking about it forever, so we'll get off it. Yeah. But yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm cool um, totally unrelated. Have you seen Flame Sword today, Michael? Did you see Mike? Physically, no. Yeah, physically. Oh, okay. Is he okay? Man, he like. He says he's fine, but, like, he screwed up a squat. Like, he <gasps> kind of came up way too fast. No. And then the load dumped back. Instead of just letting it go, he overextended. Shit. He says he's fine, though. I'm looking at it right now. There's a video want... of it? Yeah, it's on his, it's on his Twitter? Twitter. Yeah. And, he, and he's, like, he's, like, this. gut it, and he looks like he's coming up, but then he just, like, he... I don't even know what he does. I literally don't know what he does. He, like, he gets it up, but then he does this little hop thing. That's why, kids... You keep your feet firmly planted on the ground when you do a squat. He, like, it's like, he has it. It's up, but then he does, like, a little hop on his feet, and then it's, like, it, it's almost like he gets a twinge in his back, and then immediately he just dumps it. I'm gonna watch it. Wait, how can I watch this so the podcast can see? I don't know. I wish I had Actually. this part figured out. I'm sorry, listeners. I'll just watch it. Or no, yeah. I have to show you guys. Hold on. I have to yeah. show it. <laughs> I have to show like, it. He has it. He struggles on the bottom and he gets it up and then it's it's there and then it's like literally okay. just rocks on his feet. All right, I put it on screen. Everybody watching? Is this wait? Is this like not safe for work or gore no, it's or graphic fine. or anything? No, he says okay. he's fine. That's he was going for a personal record today. Yeah, which is fine, and he got it, but he just like I don't literally don't know what happens. He like explodes up way too fast. Like he just had. A little bit of rough form. 
Oh, oh, just wait. Oh, oh. Yeah, see? oh you said it wasn't bad. That was bad. What the he fuck? Says, but he says he's You fine. said it wasn't bad, Amanda. It's, you fucking well, it's lied not bad. To me. He says he's that, fine. No, it's bad. Look at his back. I'm saying it was bad to watch. Fuck. No, oh, it's not bad ah, to watch. Ah, they look like it hurts so bad. Are you okay? Yeah, but see, he says it didn't. He literally says, I mean, like, he probably says that because he's fucking Mike. It's probably going to hurt like hell tomorrow, bro. Tomorrow, it's probably going to hurt like oh, hell. Oh, that was bad. Really... That was very not good for you, Mike. Oh, my yeah, God. See, for him, no, he says he, he didn't. He says he doesn't. He didn't feel his back doing that. He just felt the weight going backwards. He says he doesn't feel the part. Bro, it literally then, like pop, pop locked and dropped it. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> I'm so sorry for the people only listening and not seeing. <laughs> Go to Flame Sword's Twitter, Mike, yeah. aka Flame Sword. Optic Flame Sword. Oh my yeah. god, I hope he's okay. Fuck. I mean, he if he says he's okay, he's okay. But like, yeah. Fuck. That's rough. That's a rough one. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well. That's why I don't work out. That's, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Bad. I'm just kidding. Dude. Oh. oh How do you prevent but, it? I don't, I still don't understand how he did it. Because he's up. He gets it up. Like, he, he says he didn't go low enough. But, like, I, I... And then it's like, when he gets up, he just... You, that's the thing. You're supposed to really, like, push up. So he explodes up. But then, like, somehow gets off settled. So his foot comes up. And then I guess he starts losing the weight. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to dump it off. You're supposed to just dump it off your back like that. But it was just the way he did it makes it look like he really, like, yeah. that's his shit. But, Dude, like, I he, don't. When he fucking Thor yelled, I was like, oh, that's not good. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah. Bro. So, like, that's I still scary. don't fully know exactly how or what, how it happened. Does he? Did he say? No. He doesn't that go, you Thor, see what that... happened was. Yeah, well, like, the, the Thor yell is pretty normal. Like, I've got a, there's, like, a girl who's smaller than me who lifts, like, mad weight, and she get, gets down to her last rep. She just, <laughs> you know? So that, yeah. that part's normal. It's just that he overdid it. It's like, instead of just trying to come up and keep his feet planted, it's like he jumped up. It's like he, you know? Is it because he he's not wearing a belt? No. Adam tells him that he needs to wear a belt. Marvel. He could be wearing a belt, but if you have enough core no, strength, I don't think you don't he is a wearing belt. a belt. No, he's not. He doesn't necessarily need to wear a belt. He could wear a belt, but he doesn't necessarily need one. If you have enough core strength, like not everybody uses belts. Maybe at that I mean, weight, power he should be using a belt. Do. Yeah, that weight, fuck yeah. me. But he doesn't. I mean, need I don't to. know shit, so I don't know if you should or shouldn't. But I'm just saying, all the power lifters wearing belts. Yeah, but, like, you should wait till you really, really, really feel like you need one. And maybe he hit the point, but I... <sighs> maybe now he'll wear a belt. I usually... I, I I don't know. Belts, I usually... I don't know. Like, if you're that big of a dude and you're doing that amount of weight, I think... I mean, it's not a bad thing to wear a belt. Certainly can't hurt no. you. No, only help like, you. if I was gonna... I, like, if I would recommend using them more for, like, deadlifts sooner than anything else, but... But, yeah, like, if he... I, cause I don't think it was a belt issue personally. Like he came up, it's just like, just too much weight. No, cause, cause I, mean, I just don't. I, it's not even that. If you notice, what makes him dump the weight is because when he gets in that upward position, he comes up off his feet. Like his feet don't stay planted, and I think that's where he oh, loses like he it. He like, it. He like basically jumps up, basically. Shoot. Yeah. So I think it's it's something to do with that, but it's so hard to tell sometimes. Like, yeah, you don't know. I don't know shit about that, so I don't know what he did or didn't do wrong. Um. But I hope he's okay. God damn, that was scary to watch. <laughs> I know, right? Like, if I hadn't seen him tweeting about it after saying that he was fine, like... No, yeah, if I saw him do that in the gym, I'd be like, Mike, do you want I will? Do you want to ride to with me to the hospital? <laughs> yeah. Because I will drive he you. Should, yeah, like, it, I just watched it again. It just looks like he probably started losing it off his back, and then just that's just how he dumped well, it. Well, just, like, like his quick jolt and movement in his back is scary to watch. That's why yes. I was like, that was bad. Like, because yeah. it looks bad. <laughs> That was scary. Yeah. Well, good find, no. though. I don't know if we have any lifter dudes or chicks that listen, but... Well, that's actually exactly what happened. Is like, I'm looking at his legs now, and it's like, when his legs go up, his knees lock out. So when his knees lock out, he pays he too much rigidity on his body, and then it, it makes him dump the weight. I'm pretty so sure that's what happened. So his legs were straight, 
His legs are yeah. He can't, his legs couldn't offer him more to what more he's stability doing. under the weight. Yeah, is what it looks like happening. That's scary, so. bro. I don't yeah. do none of that shit when I go to the gym. I just do like the simple. I don't, I don't trust myself to like lift on that bar like that. Like the only time I've ever done that at a gym was when they had it was like attached to the rig. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. I don't trust myself to know the great <laughs> form or whatever to do or not do. Yeah. I used to power lift all the time. I've kind of like <clears throat> moved away from some of it quite a bit. But well, you better start again because I'm gonna kick your ass, Jedi. No, I'm doing the Black Widow workout. Right oh, now, shit, I so. haven't watched that yet. It's not out yet. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I fell off the gym for a week. Actually. And I can tell because I got fatter. So I'm getting <laughs> back in there, bro. <laughs> I'm getting back dude. in there, dude. I think I just I had a weird it. week last week. You ever have a week? I don't... Yeah. I mean, what I'm it was gonna weird just... because you literally you literally tweeted me being like, "I'm off my bullshit." I, I was. was. Like, oh, yeah. No, this wasn't yeah. bad. This wasn't it was bad. It was different bullshit. It was yeah. different bullshit. It was like, yeah. like what I'm about to describe sounds like depression. <laughs> I don't think I'm depressed. I just go through little. Yeah, dips, people do that. Dips, you know, peaks you go, and valleys. Dips, you know, had a little dips, dip dips. last week. I just wasn't. I said no. I told Jedi before. I said no mm -hmm. to anyone that wanted to do anything with me. And I got like, yes. I feel like I got invited out. Like when I don't want to go out, I get invited out so much. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to. It sucks eh, you didn't go to see Deadpool 2. Yeah, I was gonna, but just did it. No. I know. Could have went with Sam and Davis. Said, I wasn't feeling good though. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Fun. Was it good? Yeah. No spoils. It no spoils. I heard it was better than the first one, and I thought the first one was incredible. I don't think it was better than the first one. I, I'd have to watch the first one again. I just feel like I think there was parts of it that were better than the first one. Um, but I think it there was like a lot going on with the story, and I think that like half the thing that made the first Deadpool so amazing was not knowing exactly how far they could go with it or how far they were going to go with it. True. And then you get it, and it's like shit. They're they're going all in. They're going balls to the wall. They're making fun of like. Their, their own movies they're making fun of other people's movies they're making fun of themselves they're making fun of everything else like yeah i like i think that's why i enjoyed the first one so much is because it was just so f out there different from other yeah and movies. they still do that in this and it's they do a lot of really funny stuff and ryan reynolds is amazing is fun. he is he been uh, a fan since waiting ryan in case you're watching just wanted you to know waiting. we love waiting we loved waiting you did great mm -hmm. great Good job on your lovely career. Yeah. Great good job. Thanks for watching Power Down, Ryan Reynolds. Exactly, Ryan Reynolds. If you want to come on sometime, let us know. I know you got a new movie out, so <laughs> hit us up. Hit us up. <laughs> you would help us way more than we would help you, but, but that's okay. It's Look, cool. if the phase cast can get Adam Sandler, we can get Ryan Reynolds. True. Totally. I mean, I think totally. their agents are just way cooler. Like, we don't have one. Yeah, we like, don't <laughs> have agents or managers. Thing no. of the sorts. No, I mean, no. we do. They're ourselves. Yes, so, but... like, if anything, we're multi-talented, and you should want to work with that. Yes. Less people to have to go to. Because through. we know how it is. Exactly. We know how it is. You know how else we know how else it is? We, we know how life is. We so do. if you need life advice, you should can... send it to my email, amandathejedi at gmail.com. Wait, did you get any? No. Fuck. Nobody needs life advice. Scratch it. We don't need. No. Dude, how come do... some weeks we get like five and then others we get know. zero? I don't know. Dude, it's everyone's like... lives are just dope right now. Yeah, everybody's just doing good. Or they're Telling doing so bad that they can't even take the time to like email me. That is also possible. <laughs> I can hit up some Reddit questions, like... Down with Reddit. It just feels more personal when it's from a real person that is going to listen to I it. I agree. Um, I agree. What was the other topic we were going to do? Do we have another one? Oh, Alinity. Oh, yeah, we talked about that you instead. Pie. If you want. You yeah, let's pew, do that. Pew, pew, pew. I'm pew. Gloria Borga. And this is Pew Nose. You don't know? Pew the pie. Dude, and maybe it's not... A popular opinion, but I'm a big fan of PewDiePie. I like PewDiePie. Not a big fan of companies copyright striking mm -hmm. entire videos for fair use nope. things. Yep. 
I hate it. I got two I strikes. With- this is why I don't upload. I got fuck two strikes on the trailer reveal reaction. One of them was from Activision. It's like an automatic thing, and I hit up. Was my it a Activision strike or homie. just like a, it's like a monetization copyright request thing? No, it wasn't monetization. Is it like literally the two strikes, third strike, you're out? No, no, no. It wasn't like that. It was just like a, I don't know what it's called then. But yeah, it's literally called a monetization claim. They just claim the video because it's Oh, yeah, property. that's what it's called. They claimed yeah. it. And I was like, yeah. no, bitch. This is my property. Look it up. Look it up. No, I didn't say Look that. But up. I reached out to my Activision homie. I was like, yo, uh, that happened. So within a couple yeah. hours, it was fine. And then that's good. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Not, not Dr. Dre himself, but uh, UMG or whoever. Yeah, UMG. They blocked my video worldwide. What? They absolutely don't like Dr. Dre's music to be out there on the internet. Apparently. And I was like, dang, that's kind of harsh, man. So I like, I don't know if it actually worked, but there's, you know, the tool on YouTube where you can edit out a music part. Yes. Like it'll do it for you. So I was like, fuck it. Just yeah. do that. I don't care. Do that. See what yeah. happens. And so it did it, but, like, I still hear the music on my video, so I don't know <laughs> what the fuck it did. I don't know if it muted it. I can't tell. Just go with it. But Just either way, I mean, I, I do want to start doing more reaction-type videos, but I don't want to have to deal with that shit every time, man. I don't deal with it every time. I feel like the only time I've had a video... I do, like, I've been doing more, um, like, trailer reactions to movies and stuff. Yeah. And the only one that's ever got hit hit was somebody actually tried claiming the Avengers music and I got that shut down real fucking quick because it wasn't anybody, really wasn't anybody involved at all. And then I did a trailer reaction to uh, Fantastic Beasts 2 and that one got hit by Warner Brother music and I was like, okay, that's yours. You can totally claim the money off of this. The meager the meager amounts of money that no, they made can't. off No, they can Are you showing the trailer in full? Yeah. Like, without you on it? No, I'm watching it. Oh, so they can't claim it if I'm in there transforming nah, it? Yeah, fuck that! I thought they could for the music. Fuck that. I mean, honestly, it was suggested to me, and I'd already thought of doing this, but I'm too lazy. Like, record your voice separately, and then edit out the audio track of the trailer so that they don't get you. But that's... The audio or just track lower is... it, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. Then you know. could have your voice be predominantly... I don't know. Well, shit, well, maybe you're not I'll talking the whole and... time during the trailer anyway. So I don't know. I don't know how to get out of that. I do think that if you're reacting to things, if you transform it enough or if you're commenting as you go, I think it is enough to get the copyright claim taken away. I'll just, I'm going to follow the spew on it then. Oh, hell yeah, girl. Slay. F you. Slay. Slay Warner Brothers. Amanda the Jedi versus Warner (laughs) Brothers music. (laughs) Do it. 1v1 her, bro. What are you going to do? But anyway, about yeah, this just, case, yeah. uh, the girl that got mad, dude, she handled it terribly almost all throughout. So bad. The company, like, I thought Philly D had an interesting, like, angle on it because he thought that the company was maybe lying on her behalf. Yeah. But he actually found out from another A third party source or party that, yeah. like, that's not true, that the company really did just go out of their way to be dumb. Because that's what their job is to do, apparently. But still, like, is though? No, well, it's not right, but they do it. Like you had Felix saying that they defend themselves before they defend someone else. No, well, yeah, because their job is to go around copyright claiming everybody. Yeah, so you figure they'd be like, oh, she told us to do it. We just assumed she would know. Well, no, because she's partnered with them and they're getting a slice of her shit, so they don't want to make her look bad. That's fair. I don't think they want to do that. I think that they, I thought that that's what they were doing, but then apparently a third party said, no, they just really (laughs) fucked up as they continue to do daily with their shit. I think it's, uh, I I heard, maybe, did did I like dream this or something? I heard that there's a new thing on YouTube where if like somebody takes a clip of Ninja yeah, and it's yeah, like a top five or whatever. The ninjas people or whoever could go in and say, "Okay, from forty-four seconds to a minute ten, that's all us, and we want yep. the slice of revenue that that would cause." And it goes yeah. to me, so they don't get yeah, so they can't reasonable. like monetize the whole video, but just mm-hmm. their part in it. Yeah, whatever happened with that? Is that a thing? I don't know if it's been implemented yet, but it would definitely come in handy in situations like this when literally like twenty seconds of your video gets 
claimed by someone for a 10 minute video and it's like fuck you yeah dr like, dre's song wasn't even in that much of the video bro 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 figure it out and that would i think yeah. take a lot of the well maybe a computer could still do it but i feel like if you had a human being saying oh yeah that's yeah. us because right us. now the content idea like the idea is you'd have to, in order for yourself to content ID things, you'd have to, like, I'd have to upload the full podcast to YouTube or a full stream to YouTube, for instance. Mm -hmm. And then if someone else says, oh, well, here's this clip from Optic Midnight Stream, upload it to YouTube. Like, the, let's take, for example, the Matt $200 thing. Yeah. So if I wanted to be, like, an asshole, all these top 10 <laughs> Twitch fails that I want the money from, I could go yeah. through them and say, listen, I had the Matt 200 thing for, like, 30 seconds in this video give me my paper yep. but yep. i don't do that as long as they cite me i don't care but yeah but, but i don't I think know it's like an extra problem now because you have like this happens to a couple of my friends where they have some people are literally like re-uploading and just barely changing their entire videos or really unique ideas or something and then because of the type of channel it is they're making they're getting like millions of views whereas the person who originally would have uploaded the clip might get like a couple thousand yeah, that's where i have a problem like there's like yeah. certain like, there's borderline ones. Like, I see a lot of optic stuff get uploaded where it's, like, best, funniest optic house moments. Yeah. Where I'm like, is that transformative all the way? I don't really know. Mm -mm. Um, but then there are, like, other works. Let's use optic as the same scope. This guy makes, like, kind of, like, montages or tributes where it's, like, he's definitely adding in his own spice, his own music. Yeah, some textable. He's adding it. He's adding, like, things that make it unique. And that's, like, that mm -hmm. stuff is awesome. That content is, like, that comes from pure passion. And you can see that it's altered in a way that's entertaining. Yeah. It's absolutely. not just splicing all the times that Seth laughed. Yeah. Um, exactly. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's tricky. It's a tricky subject, but it is. Yeah, for sure. I'm interested to see how that works out. If this new thing from YouTube does come out, because it'd be useful know. for a lot of people. But that, that girl really did handle it terribly from top to bottom. She did. Basically, for those of you who don't know, she uh she was PewDiePie uploaded a video with an eye tracking software. Dude, and that video is amazing, by the way. Yeah, and like people were like, watch, you know twitch female streamers like you know the type not yeah yeah streamers like me and ashley just bob and streamers I, big yeah, bobs I, big big yeah, bobs guys big bob streamers and honestly <laughs> i've i've i have no problems with them they literally no, fit a demographic care. and the people that watch them were never going to be interested in watching me go ahead so it's like, go ahead do your bob. thing do your hustle so he's watching it but don't get he, mad that when people point out that what you're doing is what you're doing because you yeah, can't you, pretend that you're not doing what you're doing exactly. what you're doing what you're doing yeah because you're doing it all right exactly. sorry he jokingly says like twitch thoughts you can't you can't <laughs> say twitch thoughts and it's just it's funny because it's pewdiepie and she's just sitting there just smacking away on her like spaghetti or something oh, just bro it was amazing she's like can we copyright pewdiepie it was really bad like who yeah. is she talking to? Does she live with the fucking guy that runs that company, know. or is it like I don't her think manager? So. I think she was just talking. Yeah, maybe. Or like, why do you I don't need know. a manager can... like that if you're just? I don't know. It's just can she... we copyright PewDiePie? So like, no, you can't. so she says that she can do it, and and honestly, she just seems really ignorant to the whole thing. Yeah, she's like, I just get, I got seven hundred dollars. That's good money. Like, good, I get, you know, good money. I get sent. Um, I just, you know, people use me in their videos, and I just, I just tell the group, it was like, and then like, I get money in the mail. Bragging ish kind yeah. of dumb stuff. It's like you're literally bragging that you're violating fair use laws. So you clearly have no understanding of what you're saying and what's going on, but that doesn't make you any, doesn't make you okay. Yeah. And, you know, and I think, I think, honestly, I do think that Philip DeFranco let her off a little bit easy when... Oh, for sure. And Or at least the parts that they showed in his video where he's talking yeah. to her, he was like, oh, yeah, you poor, you got misrepresented totally. Like, no, nah, she's dumb. No. She's live. She was dumb live on the internet. Never be yeah. dumb live on the internet. And that's what he kind of went back around and said. It's like, I, she's literally, I feel bad for her because of the situation she's created for herself. Like, she is her own worst enemy right now. Like I never feel right, bad think, for people who create bad situations for themselves. Yeah, exactly. I think he is pointing out that honestly, what DRM is doing is worse, collab DRM, oh, because sure. they know for a fact that they're doing that. Literally, when they, if a person had to look at the video because they acknowledged there was an actual person looked at it and said, "Yep, we're claiming it," and then have it, then not tell him why or what parts, and then you just go in and um, then they say, "Oh yeah, it was a, it was an error. It does." you so i'm like you can't you can't do that because like 
Cutie Pie has the ability to fight you. Not everybody has the ability to fight you. Yeah, how many times has this happened to somebody who's like, well, what the fuck? I can't do anything. Yeah, I get hit by random stuff every now and again where it's, like, stupid and I have to, like, go out of my way. Like, somebody was systematically flagging a bunch of my videos that were, like, instrumental remakes of Logic songs. And I was like, oh, man, if it's visionary music or if it's um, anybody else like that, sure, they can claim it. They, they own it. It's fine. But it's, like, these... It's like these people that represent SoundCloud rappers that are using the beats. <laughs> it's like you can't, you don't own that either. Like, <laughs> Dude, yes, I had something similar like way back yeah. in the day. I can't remember. It was yeah. like over a it's it's so weird annoying. song. It's oh, I know what happened. A rapper covered or sampled a song for his chorus that yeah. was copyrighted, and then I got mm -hmm. in trouble because he did that, and I was like, uh, I mean, no. technically, <laughs> yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess. It's crazy, man. Once I start it uploading is. it on YouTube again, maybe I'll see some of that. We'll see. Maybe. I'm about to go ham, bro. Yeah. It's like all these, it's the, these groups are, are really, really bad for it though. Because for example, one of the reasons why a lot of trailers get hit is that somebody that falls under their window uploads a video of them reacting to a trailer. And then yeah. suddenly it starts going off content ID any time anybody else reacts to that trailer too, even though the thing that is similar isn't their ownership and then you have to like fight it and then eventually they'll be like oh yeah i guess we were wrong we don't we're not no this isn't this isn't our money i think something like that happened like i signed with mlg and i was like they were like oh i think this was when the new content id system came out and i was like oh yeah i'll do that i don't want anyone using my shit and then I would put like the intro or I'd put something like like an optic intro or something in the video. Yeah. And so they were like, all right, so maybe like don't content ID everything because <laughs> this is flagging a bunch of stuff and we have to go through it. And I was like, ah, oh, my, yeah. my bee, boo boo. My bee, my bee. I didn't and know. And it's like, yeah, no. It's, like in your head, you're like, yeah, do that. But then it's like, oh, wait, because there's all this other. That's so yeah, I realized that. And I was like, oh, I'll only do that yeah. with like content that is 1000% like mine. Yeah. So no, I get it. I don't know. I think people need to be careful in live stream, man. Can we talk about yeah. real quick the Tifu thing? How Twitch yeah. oh, Twitch yeah, yeah, really yeah. inconsistently handles bans on yes. their site, which I 200%. think is alarming. It is because the bigger you are, the more you can get away with. But then if you kind of fall in that in between, because there's some people who might go under the radar saying things and no, never get reported, no one ever notices, so they're yeah. fine. But the second you get like slightly big enough for somebody to notice things. Then you can be screwed if you're not to the level of, like, ninja. For yeah. Ninja well, had an N-word slip. First of all, how do I say this? That is a bad word, and I would never say it. I can't believe how many people I saw on Twitter that had never heard of that as being a racial slur. A lot of people that I know didn't know. And I'm like, didn't we all read To Kill a Mocking? Exactly. Or, like, like I even heard there. people in my high school calling other people that word. Yeah, in a I derogatory didn't way. That. So the yeah, fact that he I called that. a character it, instead of singing the, the N-word in a song, like Ninja did, he mm -hmm. called somebody it, which I think is where there's a difference. But mm -hmm. also, he didn't know. Because he, he was like, he was you calling the, the one that looks like a raccoon. It, does, it he, does look kind of like a raccoon. And I know a lot of people who use that shorthand, and I'm always like, you shouldn't do that. And then yeah. like, why? I and think then I'm like, it's, because of this. I think it's a generation or location gap. I'm not sure it's what it both, is. It's both, because that word, um, when in, the race, in the racist sense, it originates from a word that had something to do with like a selling post that, that, that then links to slavery. But then when it's shorthand for raccoon, that's a totally different thing that started yeah, in the like, like, 1900s or something. Yeah, like you could see like, like if, I don't know, I've seen, I've also seen people not use it in a racial way and say, oh, look at that. I'm too afraid to say it, but look yeah, at that family it. of raccoons over there. But then yeah, there's the exactly. short version. And I'm like, exactly. oh, look at him. Look at the little baby. Like, yeah. I don't know. I think it is kind of a weird line. He did get his suspension down from 30 to seven days, which yeah. I which think is, is still kind of nutty. 24 hour ban would have been perfect. 24 hours. Just like, don't say this word again because of this reason. You know, I mean, I don't even I don't think know. the band. I think, I think a warning might have been. I just maybe it's just because of where I grew up, but I can't imagine not knowing that that word's a bad word. There were so many people online that had no idea, and honestly, okay, so South Park that is Eric Cartman's. Yeah, I've seen name, it. Like he, which is intentional. It's like a double entendre play. 
Yes. But they don't ever explicitly say that out loud because that's part of the joke. But, but have yeah, part of the joke kids... is that it is a racist Exactly. Thing. But when you have young kids who watch that show and don't realize that, because I always feel that South Park is a twofold show and where it is very adult centered in the fact that like the deeper running jokes in the show are very adult and very politically in climate, uh, the climate strong. Yeah. But then there's these underlying stupid jokes that kids really like. So you get a lot of kids growing up watching South Park who Dude. don't even realize that like, something yeah. that's being said is wrong i watched it my mom hated that i watched south park like every time I, she I saw me watching to. it i was busted my dad yeah. I, my dad was the one that would let me watch it shout out dad yeah. thanks dad but my dad would fair, let me watch rated r movies it. and everything but I, I think it just depends on how adjusted your kid is like if you're paying yeah, I mean, your attention kid can be super well adjusted and not realize that that's a racial slur and then they go running oh, around no. calling for like, sure oh, name shit eric cartman i don't know if i ever did that i think I think, I think you have to like I don't know I don't know how do they not read To Kill a Mockingbird Jedi but some people, that like mandatory thing, that leads in the other thing is that a lot of schools are banning To Kill a Mockingbird because they use words like that but I think that books like that are important because they use words like that because yeah. it teaches you what they mean it teaches you why they're bad and it teaches you how we've changed as a society and while things are still kind of effed up for in real a lot of ways Things are effed up in a lot of ways. It still shows you, like, this is the origin of this, and this is why it's a big deal, and this is why it's not okay to say it, rather than it just being this, like, arbitrary concept. Yeah, and then you never understand fully why certain words are bad, or why exactly. they're... I don't know. I was surprised at how many people didn't know what the word meant, but I could see... I don't fully believe... Well, I shouldn't say I don't believe, because you never know someone's intention. I did... How he said it seemed, like, very insulting, so I could see how someone would maybe see that he was using it in a derogatory way. Because he said it in, like, a mean kind of, like, yeah. where is this expletive, right? Yeah, but my like, thing is, like... Like, he wasn't I mean, like, oh, hey, look. A thing. Usually when people say racial slurs or slip on stream, they notice immediately and they're like... Fuck. Yeah, true. And he didn't. He was just kind of like, I still don't know what I did wrong. So like, well, now you know. Don't say that word. Yeah, exactly. I and mean, that's why if people were like, "What's not even a bad word?" People need to stop being pussies. It's like, okay, go out in public and use that word and see what happens. Like, you're gonna have a bad and time. I, and I do honestly feel bad for people who grew up in areas where people just refer. And then you just being like, "This is literally just what I've called these my entire life. I had no idea that there was any racial undertone to it, and now I'm confused." True. I don't know. I guess no. I'm I'm having a hard time seeing how people could never have heard of that. But it's just because of where I grew up. Maybe that's a bad word. I would say it on or off stream. No, I wouldn't. But no, I if wouldn't. you didn't, know, you don't know what you don't know. I guess so you can't get mad at ignorance all the time. I guess no, you can't. Like you, you don't know what you don't teach know. Teach it. You teach the ignorance. Got to teach it. Yeah. I think it's important to let kids at a young age be exposed to books like to kill a mockingbird oh totally and like you know point out the issues with it because obviously it's not well yeah like we had talks about it yeah it was like you have to acknowledge it right i think that teaches mm -hmm. a lot it did to me anyway i learned right away like just because it's in a book doesn't mean i can say it this is why it's a bad thing and this is why it's yeah. harmful to a whole you know culture of people or exactly. a whole population like i don't know I think, I think it's possible that they had no idea that the people that I'm saying, like, how do they not know? I think it's possible they didn't know. But, I think uh, it is because I saw so many people being like, I had no that it was I even bad saw word. people defending the use of the N-word, though. And I was like, where, See, that's where it goes what too planet far. are you on, bro? Those are these kids who've just watched a little bit too much iDubs. And they're all these edgy cool kids now. And it's like, yeah, and someday you're going to say it and someone's going to punch you and you're going to deserve it. And it's they don't say it, they say it online, but never in public. Yeah, That's one thing. They never say it in public. No. Yeah. It's like, I do agree. Just I, respect other people, man. Yeah. It's a thing. Yeah. Just because you can do or say something, it doesn't always mean doesn't that you should. should. That's yeah. Like, I'm really big into, like, context matters and... Yes. Um, words, people can sometimes get way too worked up about, about words, but there are yes. certain words that are like, just why? Why do well, you need to say that? And the that argument is like, and hate, it, yeah, it lives there. And it's, it there's, there. I've seen That's people make exists. the point of like, well, if we always keep giving these words this power, like, we'll never get over it. But I think, I think we've actually talked about this because of an earlier situation yeah. like a year ago. Yeah. But I just think there's certain words that are just over the line inappropriate and you mm -hmm. shouldn't say them. Yeah, just don't. It's so easy just not to say it. Yep.
Yep. All right, there we go. You heard it here first on Power go. Down. Don't be a lame-o. Yeah, don't be a lame-o. Consider other people's failings, I guess. Um, For real. For real. And just be a dope person. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you want to add to this? No, I think that's pretty much it. Dope. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed listening. I'm going to just upload this right away today. Hopefully. Hell yeah. Can, assuming everything went all right um with my recording remember dude i swear yeah. you saw the snapchat video remember that episode guys that had like no it had like a black screen for the last like 10 minutes of the episode <laughs> it's because during it i flung my chapstick and it hit my stream deck and hit the record button like i don't know how if I you understand it. it was like that big of a button it literally like when i watched the recording i was like holy shit because i was like maybe i ran out of funny. space on my computer i didn't no. Chapstick. It was a chapstick. Boiled by the chapstick. What a For lesbian real. thing to say. Dude. Chapstick lesbian. That's me. Shout. Yes, Ashley. What's up? What's up? By the way, my dating life is fucking trash. <laughs> I don't want to get too into it, but okay. it's in the gutter, bro. It's in the gutter? Oh, no. I gave up on Tinder. I gave up on all the other apps. Try I'll, time to try I'll see her when I see No, I don't want to try. I'll see her when I see her. <laughs> all right. All right. That's the, fair. The wife, the future wife or whatever, she's probably out there doing the same thing as me. So fuck it. So fuck it. So fuck it. Anyway, I'm going to end the podcast now. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Follow Amanda the Jedi's links there in the description. Follow my yes. links in the description. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more content coming up. I have a vlog tomorrow. What Crazy. the fuck? Who am what? I even? I don't even know. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace and chicken grease. Good talk. See you out there. Pyong.